A while ago, I set about to get the interior repaired in the Chrysler, and I got in touch with some folks at Arts Canvas up in Searsmont, and they're in a poster shop. They ordered the material for the seats, and the material is in. So I'm going to be pulling the seats out of the Chrysler this morning and get in touch with them and get those delivered up to his shop so that he can uh, begin the process of repairing my my old seats. I've been cranking a goodly while, but she seems pretty good about cranking. Hang out some fuel and she'll fire it right up. Well, I didn't get that part on film. Uh, <laughs> Brandon came out and helped me lift up one side of it while we lifted up the other side and got the seat sitting up in the truck. We are uh, gonna try to replace the centers and save the outsides here. So, uh, if I get the back seats out fairly easily, we should be good to go. I don't know if I can take this up to the poultry guy today or not he said he might be available today so we'll see <clears throat> otherwise I'll be doing it another day basically generally from the bottom you just kind of push it in and lift it up a little wire hook but <laughs> well, I, I just put a I just put a 327 engine in a 39 Ford pickup truck and it didn't have a seat in it, so I set a milk crate up in there and I, I tied a rope to the throttle, so I was driving it sitting on the milk crate with the throttle. Of course, it was a it was a uh, straight shift, and the throttle stuck wide open, and I went sideways across the churchyard before I could hit the switch. <laughs> Dug it up like a Ford 8 in tractor with the plow on the back, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they liked me a lot after that. Yeah. <laughs>